hair in that. All right. Hey everybody, it's James. Um, it is the hottest day. And you can hear like a little droning sound. That's the fan. I've got to have it on. I can't not have it on. That would be ridiculous. We're talking an Indian style mushroom and lentil burger. Yeah. We're making the brioche buns and then we're going to get a little guest, Simon Weeks. He's going to come on and try the burgers. <laughs> I'm sweltering. I am sweltering. Okay. But for now, let's get to it. Again, it's the hottest day of the year and I'm gonna try and make some brioche. So that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Brioche, the enriched dough, meaning it's got butter in it, you know, which melts at room temperature. Okay, I'm gonna do a brioche episode in the future, I think, cause you know, this is just gonna be awful. Warm 250 grams of milk up to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius. Make sure it's nice and cozy for the yeast. Put it into a little jug or bowl and put the seven gram packet of yeast in. We're gonna give the yeast a bit of food to feed on. So we're going in with a tablespoon of sugar and then give that all a little mix together. Let it stand for 10 minutes to bloom. Then into another bowl goes 500 grams of strong bread flour and 15 grams of salt. Take a 250 gram brick of butter, cut it down into small cubes and drop it into your flour. We're going to rub the butter in between our fingers, collecting all the flour up as we go. Almost like you're making a crumble or a pastry. Rub it between your fingers until you've got like a breadcrumb consistency. Into that mixture we're going to make a little well and then we're going to pour our bloomed yeast. Bring it together with a knife and then with your hands. And once it comes together in a shaggy ball, turn it out to a floured worktop and get down to kneading. We've all been here before, it's a pain to do. KitchenAid still aren't coming back to me with regards to some sponsorship so until that point we're going to knead it by hand for about 10 minutes until you get a smooth ball that when you give it a little prod should bounce back clean the bowl out pop a little oil in to make sure nothing sticks and then we're going to drop our dough into the bowl cover it with a bit of oil cling film and leave it for about an hour and a half or until doubled in size we're going to knock it back now just give it a good punch and we're going to knead it for a couple more minutes just to make sure there's no big bubbles in there then we're going to shape our dough into rolls break the dough down in half and then those pieces in half and then in half again until you should end up with eight bread rolls. To shape them, we're gonna tuck the dough underneath itself until it comes together as a little ball. Then pop it down on a, on a relatively clean surface. You don't want it floured or else it will slip about. And then put your fingers over the top of the dough like a little cage. And then you wanna roll the dough around in the cage and it should help create a nice round ball. Get them on a baking tray and give them a couple of inches around themselves, you know, social distancing and that. And if you haven't got enough room on your tray, then these ones that are left, just give them the finger like that. Well, I mean, obviously put them on a separate baking tray and let them do their own thing. We're then gonna let these rolls prove. Give them another hour and a half and they should double in size. Before they go in the oven, give them a quick egg wash and sprinkle with some sesame seeds. And on a couple of these, I'll put some onion seeds. Onion seeds you'll find in a lot of Indian flatbread, so it sort of gives it that nice, sort of almost naan bready taste. Get them in a 200 degrees Celsius or Gas Mark 6 oven for about 25 minutes. They'll be nice and brown, and when you tap the bottom of them, they should sound all hollow. Bring them out onto the wire rack, let them cool down slightly, but before you do, brush them down with a little bit of melted butter just to give them a nice shine. Now we're gonna concentrate on making our mushroom and lentil patty. Into a pan goes one large diced onion and three cloves of finely chopped garlic. Let them sweat it out for a bit, not difficult on a day like today. Then we're going in with our spices. In a pestle and mortar, I've ground up one teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of cumin. Pour all the spices on top of the onion and garlic and let them cook out for a two to three minutes. Next up, we're gonna add 500 grams of finely chopped mushrooms. It's a burger. We want it to look like a burger, so that's why I finely chopped all the mushrooms to make it almost look like mincemeat. Cook out the water as best you can and then add a tin of drained green lentils and let them cook for a few minutes. Once everything's cooked, pop it into a bowl and we'll head back over to the worktop. Oh look, here we are at the worktop, funny that. Mix in some fresh coriander and half a pack of panko breadcrumbs and also add an egg just to make sure that everything binds together. Mix it all in and let the breadcrumbs absorb all the juices. Next up, take a baking tray and pop some baking paper on. Pop, pop some baking paper. Put some baking paper. Right, okay, the fan's gonna have to take a break. Put some baking paper on top of the tray. Grab a handful of the mixture and turn it into a burger patty. Once you've got them all on the tray, wrap them up and they can go in the fridge to firm up. 
Also, a little side note here, I'm also making a quick little sauce to go with this. All I'm doing is very simply going with two tablespoons of mayonnaise and a teaspoon of mango chutney. Those Indian spices and the coriander, the sauce is gonna be perfect for this. Out to the barbecue we go and it's time to cook our veggie burger. Please excuse the little sneaky salmon burger at the bottom there, the stowaway salmon burger. Although we have cooked most of the ingredients in the burger, let's make sure that we give it some decent heat. You know, we did put a raw egg in there, so let's just make sure that it's cooked all the way through. If you're cooking these at a party and you've got veggies and meat eaters, be sure to cook these first. They will keep, they don't take that long, and you don't want all the meat juices all over them. Unless you do. I mean, I like the sound of that, but I'm not a veggie, so... And like all good British barbecues, the inevitable happened, and it started to rain. It's now raining. <laughs> beep, beep. With this burger, I've just gone with some fresh coriander on the top, and then a good dollop of our mango chutney mayo. So there you go. I mean, listen, it's not a good British barbecue unless there's rain. We've come inside, but we're still gonna very much pay attention to the rules of social distancing. So Simon, welcome. Welcome to a moose boot. Hello, stay back. Stay back, the barrier is there. You're a fan of the burger? I've eaten them, yeah. No, but in general, burgers in general. It's a thumbs up from me. It's a thumbs up from Simon, he loves a burger. That's why I brought him along. So in the veg, we've got obviously the uh, mushroom and lentil sort of Indian inspired patty. We've gone with like a mango chutney mayonnaise. Wow. And then just some fresh coriander on there as well. Okay, stay back. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting me to like solve maths puzzles? <laughs> Something in that. That's really good. It's almost sort of slightly cheesy as well. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it is, it's just the fact I think it's There's the no sweet. cheese in it, mate. So. The, the sweet, the slight sweetness of the bread. Not too overpowering on the spice. Like it's there, but yeah. like, happy with that? That's great. Though. You got you took really nice big bites, didn't you? We're not going to be eating cows in ten years' time, are we? Are we? So eat them. Eat them. So in ten years' time, when this YouTube video is is ten years old, you'll look back at this and you'll go, "Wow, that's a good recipe for a, a veggie burger." But also, remember when they used to eat beef? They're going to think we're animals, which we are. That's fair. Okay, mate. Thanks. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Post pictures on Instagram of the burgers that you make from a moose bouche. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.